Payne College is looking to the future with more funding heading their way. This happening during the anticipated arrival of their new college president. Your Cindy Hood has details on what's to come. This small campus has seen quite a few changes over the years and leaders say the best is yet to come for Payne College. It almost feels like Christmas, except there's no red or green here, just purple and pride for Payne College. It means everything to us. We're definitely appreciative because it definitely takes the community to like build and just continue to invest into the future leaders of this community. This $20,000 check presented to Payne College from crash to cash is just one piece aimed to make this campus even more attractive. I want to make sure that Payne College is around for another 142 plus years. I'm not sure what education will look like in another 142 years. I know that it has changed a lot, but I am sure that there would be some form of higher education, and I want Payne College to be around in that number. Within the last year, leaders say enrollment has increased by 4%, a number they want to grow even more. Payne College has done that for all three of us and more. Um, so it's always just a call away. If they say, hey, we need this, we're here, and we make sure we're, we're there to provide for the students. Among other money pouring into the campus includes 2.5 million dollars in federal funding and hundred and fifty thousand dollars from Home Depot. That money is aimed to repair the campus and will do so in multiple phases. My learning environment has been shaped for the better only because we didn't have those resources so now that we have more resources I'm able to put those resources to use. The overall goal creating a space that makes pain a home away from home for everyone. In Augusta, Sydney Hood on your side. Nice to see that. Payne College President Dr. Cheryl Evans-Jones says by November 1st, we should have a name for the college's next president.